I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. What the church needs to know about abortion. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, share, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications. Share. Sharing is caring. Donate. Your tax-deductible gift to higherthings.org keeps us passing on the faith to the next generation, and we need this gospel and these dark times. Life Sunday was recently, which is one of the most difficult Sundays for many of our members. And that's what I want to talk to you a little bit about today. There is a responsibility that we have in the church to preach the truth, abortion is evil, and to live the truth of mercy and grace in Christ Jesus. What I mean by this is that we've won the argument. The majority of Americans polled by Gallup recently, and most importantly, the majority of millennials and Gen Zers believe that life begins at conception and that abortion is murder. Now, what we need to do as Christians is follow that up by changing ourselves. And what I mean by that is it is not enough to just tell someone that abortion is evil. It's not enough. It's not enough. The law doesn't enliven good works. The law kills. Sin is crouching at your door, Cain. You must master it or it will rule you. We as a church body, we as a people, need to think about a couple of things. We need to tell people who are pregnant that their sins are forgiven. We need to tell people who are, are pregnant outside of redlock that it's going to be okay, that they're welcome in our churches, that the baptismal font's not going to boil over if they come in. We need to tell them that God loves them in the giving up of, their, of, of his son and that he is for broken people. He is for people who make mistakes. He is for those who, who, who lived a life not worthy of the calling they have received. We need to tell them and direct them to places where they can take their ba baby. We need to hold their hand along their way and walk them through the adoption process. We need to be pro-life, not just carrying a sign or making a video, but also in loving our neighbor and caring for them and being with them every step of the way to, to support them in, in life. So often, single women, they don't just have abortions to av avoid the consequences of their actions. They, avoid, they have abortions to avoid the shame of what's going on with them. And so we will not condemn those who confess their sins. We, we will forgive them and have mercy on them as God in Christ has forgiven us. And on Life Sunday, we also need to take special care because a lot of our members skip Life Sundays, both male and female, who have either participated in an abortion, abortion or gotten one. And so we need to be extra careful to proclaim the good news. And the good news is not just don't get an abortion. The good news is that those that, that if you have participated in something like that, if you've done this, if you okayed it happening, the blood of Jesus covers your sins. And you have peace with God. And he has forgiven you. And the guilt and the shame that you carry around daily and much has been answered for by the Son of God. We're winning the argument, but there's more work to do. And the best work is the gospel work of telling people, telling women who are pregnant outside of wedlock, telling men who have someone that they've sinned with, telling those who've had abortions, that their sins are forgiven by the suffering and death of Jesus. 
It's more than just don't do this. But it's also, I'll hold your hand along the way. And God in Christ Jesus has forgiven you. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.